Along the transmission block, there's a wiring harness. Disconnect the cable using suitable tools and cut all cable ties. Set the wiring harness aside for the moment. Now undo the upper screw in the transmission bearing. Repeat the process in the bearing on the other side of the vehicle. Now fasten a strap under the torque tube. This prevents the transmission and engine from dropping too much when you've undone all the screws. Next, remove the rubber cover in the transmission bell housing. Then, bring a lifting platform into place. Raise it until the transmission bearings are free. Unscrew three screws in the lower transmission carrier and take off the transmission bearing. Repeat the process on the other side of the vehicle. Lower the transmission and separate the connector contact at the top of the control unit. The transmission is now only connected by the torque tube. Push a piece of wood between the torque tube and the front bracing. This prevents the engine from hitting the bulkhead. Open the link of the torque tube to the transmission by unscrewing three of four screws. Renew these on reinstallation. Leave the upper screw. The same goes for the other side of the vehicle. Two other screws are in the flange underneath. Now unscrew the remaining screws on the right. On the left. And in the middle of the flange. Now the moment has come to remove the transmission carefully from the torque tube. Pay attention to all hoses and cables. And there it is, the dual clutch transmission of the SLS AMG. The housing may only be opened by qualified personnel. If you want to transport the transmission with a crane, you can fasten a lifting piece on the top. The tapped holes are already in place. Depending on what you repair, you can take off the side mounting brackets. And this is how the SLS AMG looks without the dual clutch transmission. Now all wiring harnesses and cables are accessible. Here you can see the connecting flange to the torque tube. Before installing, grease the transmission entrance shaft lightly.
To reattach the mounting, please use a new screw. The installation occurs in the reverse order. Get a colleague to help you when you flange mount the transmission to the torque tube. Pay attention as there's an equalizing ring in the shaft. Use an Allen wrench to press against the tension of the spring. This way the gearing of the equalizing ring slides into that of the torque tube. Now attach all components again. Check the fluid levels of the transmission and rectify if necessary. Lastly, with star diagnosis, carry out an initial startup with adaptation and short test. And with that, the dual clutch transmission of the SLS AMG is ready to transfer the full power of the engine. So, it's off to the test drive.